Hey everyone, Chris Johnson here from Royal LePage, Wilston Croft Realty. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Chris's Car Chat. Today I'm going to be talking about a subject that's very near and dear to my heart, and it's working with a buyer's agent and why it's so important to do that. I'm going to give you the top three reasons why you should be working with a buyer's agent if you're shopping for a home. Reason number one. If you're shopping for a home, your buyer's agent is working for you. They have your best interest at heart, first and foremost. That's a part of their uh, commitment to working with you. If you are one of those that think, hey, I'm gonna go shopping for a home and I'm just gonna do it on my own until I need a realtor, um, there's some risks involved in that. If you call a listing agent, uh, you find a home that you want to take a look at, and you call a listing agent for a showing, and the listing agent agrees to do it, which is kind of questionable because it's not necessarily their job, they're, they're representing the seller. If you get to that home with a listing agent, that agent is not working with your best interest at heart. They represent the seller, they don't represent you. So there's some risks involved. You've gotta be very careful about what you do and say around that listing agent. They're listening for you uh, to throw in some clues like what your budget is, what type of motivation you have, how soon you need a home. All of that stuff can work against you when it comes time to negotiating a deal. So you've gotta be very careful. It's just like in Law & Order. Everything that you say can and will be used against you. Reason number two why you should be working with a buyer's agent. Rather than looking for the needle in the haystack by yourself and randomly searching listings every day, a buyer's agent can set up a customized search for you that incorporates not just your budget, but the specific needs that you might have. For example, if you're a, a young family and you need to be close to schools, your agent can set that up in your search. Or perhaps you're downsizing and you need a home with a little bit less maintenance and perhaps close to golf courses or close to shopping, your buyer's agent can set that up for you as well. Reason number three for working with a buyer's agent. If you do find a home that you really like and your buyer's agent has actually seen the home, they can write an offer for you that's better suited to that home. Sometimes we're looking at a home that might need a little bit of love, maybe the roof is getting a little bit aged. We need to factor that in when we're writing the deal. Uh, if you're working with the listing agent for looking at the home, a big red flag there, that listing agent is not allowed to write that offer for you. <laughs> Again, they're not working for you, they're working for the seller, but now the rules dictate that that listing agent cannot write the offer for you. It has to be another agent. So you're gonna have to get somebody else to write the offer for you anyways. So there you have it. There's my three reasons why you should be working with a buyer's agent if you're shopping for a home. I wanna share a little story with you as well. Yesterday, I got a phone call on one of my listings. A, a lady called, she was shopping for a home. She asked me a couple of general questions about the house and then she asked if she could book a showing. So I asked her if she had a realtor and she said yes, she did have a realtor but she didn't want to bother <laughs> that realtor. Um, I chuckle when I hear that because it's not a bother for a buyer's agent, or at least it shouldn't be. Hopefully buyer's agents recognize their responsibilities. Uh, it's not a bother for a buyer's agent to uh, go to a showing with uh, their clients. Um, that is what they get paid for. If a deal happens to get put together and it goes through, your buyer's agent is getting half of the commission that the seller has, uh, has put on the table. So they've got to earn uh, their worth. It's not a bother for them to come out. And even if they have to drive across town, if it's Chilliwack or Richmond, wherever it happens to be, it's kind of their responsibility to take care of their buyers and get out there and do it. Um, so yeah, that's my funny little story. I always chuckle when I hear that. If you're working with a buyer's agent, if I'm a buyer's agent especially, don't be scared to pick up the phone. It's not a bother for me to head out and see you somewhere and uh, let's go look at some properties. I've driven all over the lower mainland and then some to show homes to my clients and, and it's part of the job. That's what we get paid for. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions about working with a buyer's agent or anything else real estate related for that matter, please don't hesitate to call. And uh, last but not least, hit the subscribe button below and uh, follow my channel. I'd love to uh, bring you along for the ride. Take care.